Hello and welcome to Tapas and Pretzels again. And we are on podcast number two. So, and what I thought building an API, I think can be really difficult. For example, questions can appear, which, what, what should we do? Um, what kind of roles do we have? Who's going to pay and so on. So, um, those questions can be also shown as a yeah, strategy or an API governance. And maybe you too can explain me what, uh, what kind of approach do you have for an API lifecycle or yeah, what kind of opinion do you have on API governance? So, um, David, you have, I, Me first? I think you have like, yeah, you have like a picture that you can show us. <laughs> so maybe we can understand that better then. Yeah, so. I'm happy you made me that question because I had a picture <laughs> prepared for that. <laughs> Let me share my screen. Okay. Can you see this? Oh, yes. Very nice. Uh, okay, then. Uh, th this is uh, our uh, this is the the, go the API governance framework uh, we have defined in 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 Admira, which is the company I'm working for. So so uh, um, the the main aim of of an API uh, governance uh, is is to 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 keep the the strategy aligned the API strategy aligned with with the business uh, strategy. So uh, we have to to have this very deep writing in mind. So to to do that, it's is or or to to make sure that this uh, that we can succeed in this, uh, uh, it's it's key to that that everybody at the organization will know what has to be done and how. With I mean with which tool set in each of the stages of the API lifecycle, right? This is this is done, uh, or this can be done easily if you have a framework. And this is what we are, what that we have here at the at the screen. This is our API framework. So uh, I, I'm going to try to explain the the framework a little bit. Not going too deep. If if you think that I'm going too deep, just raise your hand and give me a yeah, hit my my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so so the, as as you can see, the framework is divided in three layers. Why in three layers? Because because depending on the on the complexity of the company, you can go uh, uh, deeper in each of the layers in an independent way. If, for example, if you if if the if the company is 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 small, or or the strategy is quite simple, you can focus on the operational one. But if you are if you if you are a very mature API company and you want to embrace the API economy, uh, monetizing your APIs, you will need to develop uh, the three layers. That's why is we, we prefer to divide the API framework in independent layers. Okay, that can be that can be developed uh, depending on your context. So, at the top layer is the strategy layer, which is uh, the layer responsible or 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 keeping that alignment I mentioned before. How defining the strategy, uh, identifying the or, or setting the business model. Uh, I mean, all of this is related with APIs, but I'm not going to repeat each time related with APIs. Okay? It's un under understood. So, so identifying the, the business model, uh, uh, you will you will you will put in place with with your API strategy. Uh, also, uh, specifying how are you going to to uh, to boost the adoption of the of APIs. Uh, not only uh, inside your organization, but also, but also in your uh, company's ecosystem with partners, for example, this this uh, uh, needs 
to make a maturity assessment on top of a maturity model previously defined, and also to set a roadmap uh, for the, that adoption. Uh, at this point, as you as, as you can you can check, we only talk about a high level uh, view of the companies about strategy, what we are going to, for what we want the the APIs. <clears throat> Then uh, in the inner in the yeah. So what what do you what, what do you see recommendation as a as a new company that is wants to build an API program? Should I do everything in parallel or should I where should I start? No, I, I think that this is better if you do it in a in a, in an iterative way. You know, you have a, 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 if you are if you know or if if you are an API company that is going to to embrace the digital economy uh, on on the full on the full uh, or, or the full or with the full meaning it, it has, I think it's of course before to start to the operational part. You have to to make your business your business plan to see if uh, if it's profitable to you or or don't. So the strategy should be done uh, always. Then once you have the strategy, you need to know how are you going to put that strategy in in place. That's the tactic, the tactic layer. So uh, depending on the point you are in your roadmap, you will have some 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 tactics already in place, and there will be uh, many ones that you will have to to put in place in the in the future. You know, but you also will need some tactics if you only if why because tactics allow you to to take the objectives and your goals to the real world. Okay, and then once you have that, once you you know what you want to do, and which are uh, and how you are going to do what you want to do, you need you you will need to de to design processes, and and also uh, choose a toolset to 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 execute or to to do those processes till the end. So, so that's the operational part of the of the framework. So, in any in any I would say deployment in any company, in a way or another, you will have to to deal with the three layers. Yeah, totally true. Okay. Do you have some other questions, Tim, about those process, or? Um... <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Of course. I mean, I have. We have. Said, we in Russia, We have something, something similar. It's um, we we also. It's one thing that I have learned in the past um, is the the topic of communities, um, especially if you embrace global strategies and standards. Because, like, I think in API governance, which really where it benefits from. I think it's um, can be overhead for a company to establish because it's. I uh, you and you see in the picture there are many people and roles involved. Um, there might be some costs involved, but the outcome in the end is like you have in, created some standards in within the company, and those standards will make the company way more productive. Though. So you can really shoot out more APIs more frequently. You can build new tools on top of your standard APIs, and the in, standard APIs can be in a standardized way, can be connected and interoperable, uh, interoperable which makes them easier to build new products. So therefore, I think this is a huge uh starting cost to establish everything but in the end in my opinion it's a great great tool which creates standards and makes them the organization towards an api driven organization way more effective way more cost effective but it's in the long run and um and, and also i would also depending on the company size what is the size and the maturity of the company and it does the company have api business models in mind i, I would also always consider like what are the elements of the framework uh, I would use? And one thing that I got often approached is like, just can't we just install a tool and, and design some APIs and, and, and shoot the APIs out? This is mostly the indication for me that, that somebody's going to build an API program that will not be successful in the end. Because if you don't have a strategy overall picture, what you're aiming for as an overall organization, 
it's something that's done in a, in a really small cell somewhere and it's mm-hmm. not going to survive because like it will be not the they will not get the funding the attraction and actually communication is key apis are made for communication so a communication of the value of your program needs to be communicated all the way up to the strategy to the high level management and if you don't do it only internally in your it the adaption of the company is usually not real well driven but but sorry 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 david for interacting here so i think it's no, 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 no. a great framework <laughs> yeah. yeah i i i also i i agree with you once again <laughs> but and i i i i just want to to put in in the in the table some reflections so it's true that that the, this, this, the, there, there are many organizations that start without a strategy, without a strategy, as you have said, and probably it's due because it's due to that traditionally APIs have been used for integration between IT and IT. Then that it can be done without a strategy because in this, in this part, uh, APIs are, are only a kind of integration glue. It's only technology. There is no business on that. The problem is that 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 what happens when when your API is not is not an integration API, but is a product API, or an API as a product, better say. No, then if your API is a product, you have to to market your product pro- properly. This means that strategy and tactic is very important. In 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 fact, it's crucial. To the to 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 succeed, because if don't, it will be a misalignment between IT and uh, IT enterprise and and also and and business, and your program probably will fail. But but this misconception due that to to the fact due to the fact that traditionally APIs have been used uh, for integration and then no not too much planning. It, it can be involved there, makes people to lose the focus. So if yeah. you are going to embrace API economy, then you need a strategy. You need a tactics, you need, you need operational. If your API is mainly an, uh, an integration part, I would say that you also have to take an eye to, to a strategy and also to tactic, but, but probably with a uh, Focusing only in the operational part of the life cycle, API life cycle will be enough. But I I I, advi- I I recommend always to take a look also to the two layers. Absolutely, you're totally right. I think depending on the company's aim, if the company is planning to make sixty percent of their total revenue by APIs, they should definitely invest in all the three layers fully, full stop. If the company is an aim like to leveraging APIs to better to build a better technical integration, there's not that much need. You should, as you said, like spend some thoughts on, on strategy behind it, but it's not it's not necessary to fully apply the whole framework. And I to- totally agree with you, yeah. Yeah, depending on the company, where are you? What is he aiming for? No. So um, also for me, as somebody who is not that into API, it's really helpful to have like, this structure uh, structure um and i know how to build an api <laughs> or at least the strategy tactics and operational so um thank you very much david that you explained um My this pleasure. cool overview and thank you also tim for your input and i think we will see us on the next podcast to the next topic thank you and- Okay, bye-bye. Thank you too. Bye. Bye.